set up. I've got big things, big things underway. Report to the bookstore immediately. Keep this between us. Over. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Uh, take a seat or stand, make yourself comfortable. What I have to show you is of the utmost importance and can't wait a second longer. You see before you perhaps the most prodigious discovery known to the metaphysical science community. Look familiar? It's the first, and I mean very first, edition of Tobin's Spirit Guide. The holy grail of supernatural encyclopedia. I finally tracked this down a week ago, and it just arrived. I had to overnight it from... <laughs> it's best you don't know. Now, I can't deny that my possession of such an extraordinary artifact does naturally provoke questions as to how and where I got it. Uh, it's no secret that Tobin is a hero of mine. Throughout Ghostbusters operations, the Spirit Guide has been our de facto resource. Even now, over a hundred years since its first publication, it remains the most respected compendium in the paranormal investigative medium. No other researcher, metaphysician, or common raving supernatural obsessed maniac has gone to the lengths that Tobin did to chronicle that which is not of this world. Although some might say, given his sordid later life, perhaps he went too far. Like Tobin, I too fell down a rabbit hole at a young age. This mildewed tome has been my elusive golden goose, my singular vice and obsession. I paid a great deal of money Winston's money, to some questionable individuals who have scoured the farthest reaches and risked countless perils to find it. It turns out it was right under Tobin's nose all along, literally. It was found in his coffin, resting on his now concave chest. John Horace Tobin had his spirit guide buried with him. Here, a keepsake from your first occult book acquisition. Never forget this moment, kid. It's a big one. You there! Yes, you, ghosty. Tremble in trepidation, for before you I stand, the magnanimous purveyor of the paranormal, leading scholar on the supernatural, once known in another dimension long ago as John Horace Tobin. I have shed my mortal coil and appear to you now, lost spirit, as the gatekeeper between the world of the living and what lies beyond. Behold! Behold! Oh, bugger. Give us a sec. There we are! Today is not your finest day, ghosty, but it is your luckiest. Prithee, look to me from here as your guide to what exists beyond existence. Fear not the eternal darkness, for I shall light the lamppost which illuminates your passage. Follow the interminable horizon of the shadowy plane. Release your forsaken soul from all worldly ties, for... Wait, Tick. Well, you're not bloody dead, are you? Then what in the name of Saint Stephen are you doing here? 
Look, I haven't the foggiest how you fumbled your way into this realm, nor do I care. Despite your spectral facade, you don't belong here, and quite frankly, you look ridiculous. And that's coming from a talking ledger. Evidently, the fates have a piss-poor sense of comedy. Well, this certainly puts a spanner in the works. My uh, assigned duty is to serve as mediator for the recently deceased again, not you. I take the dead, teach them the ropes, so to speak, and send them on their hauntings. Oh, but perhaps... Yes. Y y yes, Ghosty! I've got it! There is a metaphysical mischief to be done, and I find no reason why you shan't be privy to the delights. Lord knows I've had some time to kill in this place, and picked up a few pointers. No better way to immerse oneself into the headspace of a spectre. A rambunctious excursion into the world of the living is the perfect distraction from a purgatorial eternity. What say you? Wanna spook some meat puppets? First, you need to find your footing. A figure of speech, of course, because as you've probably noticed, you haven't got any feet. <laughs> well done, ghosty. Say. Are you a quick learner, or have you been dead before? Well, never mind it. See the giant schism in the sky over there? That is a rift! Once you enter, you'll be transported to your very first haunt. So, make haste! 